So you're working on a video presentation with your partner, but your partner is on a Mac and you're on a PC. What do you do? Will this cause a problem? Well, first of all, if you work with Google Drive and Google Presentation, you're safe. That will work very well for you. You'll have no problem. But say you really love PowerPoint. PowerPoint is your friend. You have to use PowerPoint. If you don't use PowerPoint, the world will end. Where well, there are some simple tips you can follow to avoid trouble. Tip one, use fonts that are common to both platforms. If you want your presentation to seem consistent, you have to use fonts that are present on both the PC and the Mac, and most fonts are not. And if you don't, what will happen is one platform will, will decide to replace the font you used with another font, and all your formatting will be completely messed up. So I will include you can see it on the left, but it'll be too small. But I will include a list of fonts that are common between them. Simple things like Arial, Times, Georgia. These are going to work for you, even if they're not the most fascinating. At least you won't have any problems. Next, for the same reason, space fonts. Don't tightly pack in your text. Because what will happen is even if a font is the same between a Mac and a PC, it's going to render those fonts slightly different. And all of a sudden you'll find that a word is popping onto another line and all your spacing is messed up. So allow a bit of space between your words to avoid problems. Tip three. Use GIFs, PNGs, or JPEGs. Avoid PIC files, especially on a Mac. And what happens is people pull images off of Google Image, they drag them right into their PowerPoint, and when that image is opened up on a PC, the, the image seems to have disappeared. Now, let's take a minute and see how to pull images off of Google Image Search, which is what most people use, and save them in such a way as to avoid this issue. So this next bit is specifically for Mac users. Mac users who are either showing a PowerPoint presentation at a conference, or in this case, are working with a user who is using a PC. How to avoid adding images to your PowerPoint that your fellow user will not be able to see. Well, what most people do is they find an image they like on Google Images. So here's an image of Bob Dylan, and they drag it right into a PowerPoint slide. Now, if you do that, Mac OS will convert that file into a Mac file, and it'll make it a PICT or picked file, and the PC user will not be able to see that image. So what you do instead is you right click and save image as, so let's save it as Bob here, and you save image as onto your desktop, and then in your PowerPoint, you insert a photo, picture from file, you grab Bob, and we'll insert it directly into our PowerPoint presentation. This way you avoid the Mac OS converting your image. If you don't do this, it will be very painful to share things back and forth between a Mac and a PC. So this is for Mac users only. It's something to remember to help make the conversion between Mac and PC easier. Tip four, avoid using tables. When you paste tables with data into your PowerPoint, you will get corruption. So even if it works really well to paste an Excel sheet, uh, data from Excel sheet into your PC PowerPoint, when the Mac user opens that same slide up, the data will be messed up, the tables will be messed up. So avoid using tables that you're pasting in from Word or pasting in from Excel. You will get corruption when you move between platforms. Don't use embedded media or animations. So again, the animations on the Mac and the PC are slightly different. Some of them are the same. Some of them aren't the same. Some of them aren't there. Additionally, if you embed a video clip or the like, 
you will invariably have problems moving back and forth between the two platforms. So avoid embedded media or animations. Thanks for listening.